citizens of the world. Welcome. In recent days, social media have been inundated with videos and photos of the protests in Colombia, which culminated in acts of violence by the police. For the first time, these protests involved almost all Colombian citizens. The triggering cause of this protest is the tax reform implemented by Colombian President Ivan Duque Marquez, which consists in the introduction of VAT on many essential products, and a generalized increase in taxes and duties, which further burden the less affluent citizens. So, on April 28th in many cities of Colombia, citizens took to the streets to protest peacefully, and express their dissent against this reform, and especially against a government, that does not give citizens guarantees, both from the point of both economically and socially. But, in fact, the tax reform was only the pretext to protest. In fact, despite the turnaround by President Duke, who withdrew the reform, pledging to introduce a better one, and the resignation by Finance Minister Alberto Carasquilla, citizens continued to demonstrate in the squares of the most important cities. So what is the reason for the disagreement of Colombian citizens with the current government? It all goes back to the constant clashes, that over the last 50 years have seen drug traffickers, armed groups and paramilitaries oppose. The latter were supposed to limit the guerrillas that were in place, to control the uninhabited land, but in reality they only increased the episodes of drug trafficking and bloodbaths. Former soldiers reported, that the Colombian state, was in some way connected to the actions of the paramilitaries, in fact there were many members of the army linked to the paramilitary groups, and numerous scandals arose. The most relevant concerns the former president Alvaro Uribe, accused of having put, pressure to withdraw the statements of a former paramilitary, who testified to the link between the former Colombian president and some paramilitary groups. However, this scandal is only a part of other crimes of which Uribe is accused, such as links with the massacres, carried out by paramilitaries and links with drug trafficking. If Uribe is no longer the president of Colombia, why are citizens protesting against the government? Uribe continues to influence the country. The current president Duke is closely linked with his predecessor, he carries on the ideals of Uribeism and his candidacy was sponsored by Uribe himself. It is certainly useful to have a better view of the current situation, than what is happening in Colombia, to hear the words of the Colombian journalist Karen Eriza, who lives permanently in Colombia. Karen Eriza recounts how the protests of recent days are inevitable consequences of the attitude of a government, that continues to militarize cities, raise taxes and protect the richest more, relentlessly increasing the rate of poverty and unemployment. Abuse by the state and law enforcement is now constant. The city protests have been going on for seven days and the number of deaths has exceeded 30, over a dozen women raped, and thousands of people injured. The figures are certainly higher, but the state does not report them. The state justifies the violence by the army, by blaming the mob protesters. The state-controlled national channels only broadcast episodes of disorder committed by the demonstrators, not showing both the bloodiest videos on social media that highlight the abuses of power committed by the police, and how in reality there are over 100,000 people marching in peaceful way on the streets of the most important cities, Bogota, Cali and Medellin. In the last two days, the situation has been particularly heated, as the FARC, Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, issued a statement in which they took the side of the citizens, placing themselves in contrast with the current government, and declaring that they were available to fight alongside citizens. However, this press release, has generated a lot of confusion, since almost all citizens want to continue to protest peacefully, and an intervention by the FARC could be yet another pretext by the state, to force the police, to intervene in a violent manner. In addition, in recent days, the internet connection and electricity have been blocked in some areas. These days of protest, as the Colombian writer PC says, could have tragic implications. The government is adopting purely offensive measures, ordering to repress the demonstrations as quickly as possible. What we can hope, is that the protests can continue peacefully, and that citizens can express their dissent. 
to highlight all the social problems present in Colombia. Open the care and the mind. Be strong. A hug.